how do you end up see see you end up on the gatekeeper list I don't want none. I don't even know why. What the hell was that, man? I don't know. Big D, that's my homie, but I don't even like that type of like. Yeah, I mean, like, what like is David. that? I don't know. Jay Prince, I, he's in the league of his own. Right. So exactly. when I seen it, I said, man. Yeah. But but I understood it though from yeah. the interview we did with Big D. See, yeah, I yeah. know already but how I'm he just, be coming though. But Big D, he's super. Uh, I mean, uh, Jay Prince is he's an OG, OG. Yeah, but Big exactly. D got an opinion and he's strong yeah. about yeah. it. When you talk to yeah. him, he gonna tell you what he feels. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I. Just, uh, and it, I think he he actually brought that up on this show. People hold Jay Prince up here. Oh, I, I mean, and rightfully so. When you go really? back into the music uh, background and the thing, the legacy that he put out there with Scarfaces and all the different Willie D's and uh, the, the Fifth Ward Boys, you got to give him his respect. You no, know, for sure. when it comes to the music, you can't deny that he's one of the patriarchs to do this of course, of course. but you so, gotta let these young boys get on here too shout out to say cheese sean cotton you can't say he not up there you know what i'm saying i'm not saying like he led my i can't even say he's not legendary like jay prince i mean black man i'm been there from the beginning number one blogging platform just got five um certified riaa um plaques platinum plat for uh cash page you know what i'm saying like what else he got to do, huh? He take and he's taking artists who have no buzz and blowing them up. He not jumping on the bandwagon once they got a a buzz and say, okay, let me take you to the next level. His mo is let me find somebody who has nothing and turn them into something. something. And that's every artist spot them, got them that beatbox challenge. That yeah, yeah, know, that's Sean Cotton. That's his yeah. artist. Because he was like, man, I think Sean just don't get the pray. You know, yeah. it's a new day, and and that's how he feels. So you really, that's his opinion, yeah. man. And how can you? And he put I, you in the same category with, with Jay Prince. I, 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 Jay Prince is in the league of his own. Right. I say like, that. I, I say still, that. I'm, I just turned 30. like Bro, you know I man? say that too, but I understand where he's coming from as far as on the internet side yeah. of it and what he's saying from his perspective. For sure. I, I, I get why put, he's saying but that. But to put me above somebody who's been in the game for 40 years right. is kind of like disrespectful. Like, Yeah, but I don't think he meant it that way. I think for the simple fact, I don't take it that way because yeah. I know who Jay Prince is. Jay yeah. Prince is a pillar. Jay yeah. Prince was with he the ghetto boys. Mm -hmm. He paved the way for Fifth Ward boys. I'm that guy, so yeah. I'm from that era. Fact. So I can tell you he did what you you had a lot of work to do when exactly. it comes to that part. But exactly. what he's talking about from his perspective yeah. on the blogging side and kind of the things that you've accomplished in your time. Yeah. And you got, shout out to Big D Mogul too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And, and 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 Jay Prince, man, respect, man. Yeah. That book, man, it's a beast. No, nah, for sure. <laughs> man, bro. Yeah, no, like, that's like, what these dudes tell me. It, I'm not it, in the rap game. Yeah, no, nah, people are mad because um, really, like, we're booked up. Yeah. Like, niggas can't ever say that I owe them money or anything. Yeah. It's just the fact that I, I can't work with them when they want me to work with them. But you being them. honest. It, I'm just being honest. Yeah. And it's a lot of people that are out here that are, you know, make doing funny business. I'm just hard to get in contact with. And I feel like that helped my brand get to exactly. where it's at. Exactly. Yeah. Because I if somebody see sees you all the time, they're not going to appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so take us back it. to um, before you started this. I know you used to work at Best Buy, but even yeah. before that, um, where did you used to work before that? Um, sh when I graduated high school, my dad was the manager of uh, GameStar Warehouse. Wow. He was a supervisor. Okay. And um, he would hire everybody from my school. And a lot of them got fired because they were still the video games outside of the GameStar Warehouse. They would, it was easy to sneak them out, but they'll catch you eventually. And they would wait, to ca they would wait for you to steal a whole bunch of games so they could file a case. Because wow. it's hard to file a case on somebody with one, two right. Xbox PS2, threes at the time. So he hired me for the first shift because he worked third shift, so we couldn't work the same shift. He's Sean Cotton, too. Wow. So yeah. you're a junior? Well, not really because we don't have the same middle name. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm not a damn junior either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah, I was. You don't, have, the I don't have the same middle name. I don't have no same middle yeah, name. Yeah, you don't have. Yeah. You, you, did your daddy have he a middle name? He didn't have no damn middle name. I was about to say, you are a junior because both of y'all didn't have no middle name. Both of y'all don't, don't have, have no middle, middle name. So maybe that, so I, that so means you I'm, are a junior. So I'm a junior because he didn't have no middle name? Yes. How does yeah. that work? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I, I got to figure that out. Sometimes people, will, sometimes I would be considered a junior, but for the most part, I'm not a junior. Not a junior. Hypothetically, what do you want to see uh, Say Cheese at? At its, at its highest point. Um, I want to break, keep breaking artists, make more. I just want to keep changing lives. Um, I want to do more for the youth too. I don't feel like I'm doing everything that I should be doing. Um, having more people, a street team of guys who, you know, I want to keep these kids busy. And um, 
the weed farm, Say Cheese Farms. I want to become a billionaire off that. Wow. And uh, I just want to open more businesses. I don't want to just be stuck in this blogger journalist world. Because people be trying to put me in a box. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck in a box. How did you come up That's with the name Say Cheese? That's what I was about to ask him. Say Cheese. Uh, how did you come up with that? Shit, the name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it's like Say Cheese. Cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. You're on camera. Say I don't cheese. know. It just came to me. That's what I'm saying. How did you like one I day you was like, I'm going to do it. It just sounded. It just, I don't know. That's fuck. a marketing. I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come up with a, like, it's a lot of different um, media outlets that are too, uh, they're not marketable, like, uh, as far as, like, uh, Get Money TV or uh, hood, 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 Block the Block, you know, shit mm -hmm. like that. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. It just was a name that rolled off the tongue. And, and it stuck. And it stuck, like. 